Yes, it's true. My PCOD has struck again. My pipe and cigar obsession disorder. Yes, it's true. It's a lie. It's a lie. No, seriously, guys. My pipe and or cigar obsession disorder has been striking me a lot within the past month. As some of you may know, I bought a cigar humidor a few weeks ago, which I finally got seasoned. I got my digital hygrometer set in there. It's like at 80%. I know that's a little high, but hey, they're moist. They'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my humidor for those of you who haven't seen it yet. That's it right there. That's my baby. And uh, I'm going to take a peek inside of it in a minute. But it is full of cigars already. I think I've spent somewhere in the neighborhood of probably 400 to $450 on cigars and tobacco over the past month and PCOD uh, has got its needle in my vein and let's see if I can, I got these boxes right here I've got like four cigar boxes right there stacked on top of each other and they are all slapped full of tobacco I guarantee you I have at least three or four pounds of tobacco I've had so much that I've been having to give it away literally uh, I just, I mean, I got two boxes sitting over there on my, my, uh, oh shit, my dresser over there. Uh, like I said, I was just wanting to know if this was normal. Uh, for some of you guys out there that may also suffer some from pipe and cigar obes obsession, not obesity, obsession disorder. That would be PCOD. Uh, like I said, I've been spending lots of money. Uh, even like my shirt. Uh, yes, you like it, don't you? But anyways, I was just wondering, is this something normal? Uh, you know, if it's not, I definitely need to cut back my cigar and pipe spending. I need to quit buying more tobaccos because I seem to be more into collecting than actual smoking. I've been buying and buying uh, faster than I can smoke, and uh, I just want you guys' input on that. So uh, if you can get back with me, I'll see you guys later, and thank you, and may keep the PCOD down, dude.